As I surf the internet for my next tax gadget to buy, a phone call comes in. Without touching my phone, I can answer the call on my tablet or on my watch. This is really convenient when my phone is away from me. One of my viewers requested to see a demo of this. So this is the video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. If you'd like to learn more about my personal tech gadget stories and how I use technology to simplify my life, do subscribe to this channel. I enjoy helping people with their technology questions and buying decisions. You can support my work by buying me a coffee using the link in the description down below. Cheers! Okay, let's jump straight into it. I'm using another phone to call my phone right now. Notice when my phone rings, my watch and tablet will also display the incoming call. So I can take the call on my tablet or take the call on my watch. I don't need to touch my phone at all. This means when my phone is in my bag or charging in another room, I can still take the call using my tablet or watch. When we answer the call on the tablet, it will be on speakerphone by default because there is no earpiece on the tablet, obviously. So people around you will hear your conversation. Now this is the same for the watch. When we take a call on the Galaxy Watch, it will be on speaker too. And we need to talk to the watch, which makes us look a little bit like James Bond in the movies. Okay, so how do we set this up? I'll show you how to link up the phone and the tablet first. On both the tablet and the phone, go into the settings and search for this. Call and text on other devices. Switch this settings on on the phone first. And then switch this on on the tablet. Now on the tablet, you should see a diagram showing we are trying to connect the tablet to a phone. Just press continue. The tablet will then search into our Samsung account and look for our primary phone, which in my case is my Galaxy Note 10. Both our tablet and phone must be locked in to the same Samsung account for this to work. In the options, we can selectively pick if we want to receive calls or text messages or both. And on the phone, we can also temporarily disable the link to the tablet. And that's it. Now we can answer incoming calls or text messages using the tablet. As for setting this up, on the Galaxy Watch, we actually don't need to do anything. When we set up our Galaxy Watch with our Galaxy wearable apps on the phone, by default, we will receive calls on our watch. This Galaxy Watch entry appears by default as one of the linked devices. Clicking on it brings us straight to the remote connection settings in the Galaxy wearable app. This remote connection settings is actually on the Galaxy wearable apps. Let me show you. It's in this account and backup configuration. See this remote connection? That's where we are at just now. Okay, let's move on. Next, I'm going to show you it's actually pretty easy to pull an active ongoing phone call from one device to another. Imagine we are answering the call on the tablet speaker phone and the conversation starts to become a little bit more private. We would like to take the call on the phone. So what do we do? What we can do is we can go to our phone notification shade and press the pull button on the ongoing phone call notification entry. And here we go. The call is now transferred to the phone. 
We can also do the same on the watch. See the pull button on the watch? When we press that, the ongoing phone call will jump across from our phone to the watch. Okay, the ongoing call is now on our watch connected to the phone via Bluetooth. Imagine now we finish our private conversation on the watch and for whatever reason, we want the ongoing call to go back to the tablet. Once again, we can pull down the tablet notification shade and press the pull button on the ongoing phone call. And by the way, we don't need to go from the tablet to the phone before going to the watch. We can actually jump straight from the tablet to the watch without touching the phone at all. This is because the watch is connected to the phone via Bluetooth all the time. And from our watch, we can send the phone call back to the phone by pressing the icon in the middle of the watch. Realize this is not pulling the call from the phone. Instead, we are actually sending the call from the watch to the phone. And if we feel like doing so, we can once again pull the call back to the watch. So yes, we can transfer the ongoing call pretty easily to and fro any one of these devices belonging to the same Samsung Eco family. In order for this to work, all devices must be registered on the same Samsung account. Okay, this is the fun part. Now, I'm going to bring in my Galaxy Buds Live earbuds to complicate everything. Imagine my Galaxy Buds are connected to my tablet as I use it to watch a YouTube video. Hang on, let me close this prompt on the phone. Okay, so the video on my tablet is playing on my Galaxy Buds earphone right now. And a phone call comes in. I can easily take the call on the tablet with the Galaxy Bud already connected to the tablet. Wait, hang on. Why is the Bluetooth not showing it's connected to the Galaxy Earbuds? I'm pretty sure this works because I've done this before. Wait a minute, now let me wear the earbuds and see what happens. Oh, okay. When I put on the earbuds, the proximity sensor of the earbuds sensed I'm actually wearing them and automatically enable the Bluetooth to send the ongoing call to the earbuds. How smart is that? So what happened just now is that the ongoing call stays on the tablet speaker phone because the tablet knows I'm not wearing my earbuds. The earbuds is actually on the table. This is really intuitive. Okay, now let's try something. I wonder if I pull the call over to the phone now, will the devices be smart enough to transfer both my Galaxy Earbuds connection together with the ongoing phone call over to the phone? Do you think this will work? Let's see. Nah, not that smart. Only the phone call is pulled over to the phone and the video on the tablet continues to play on the Galaxy earbuds and the Galaxy earbuds are still connected to the tablet. Well, anyway, this is how we can take phone calls on our tablet and Galaxy Watch. Hey everyone, this has been one of the fun videos I've made for all of us. Thanks to all of you who have subscribed, my channel is actually growing progressively. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below. And please share this video and follow my social media handles to help me grow my channel. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.